All right, I have been on the lookout for a vanish eraser alternative forever. And I finally decided to just figure it out. The Vanish Eraser I get at my local Jerry's Artorama for about $2. The problem is they're really unavailable sort of worldwide and like on Amazon they're like seven bucks. So I'm not gonna be recommending someone buy a $7 eraser, but they're really the best gosh darn erasers and the only one I've used for like a decade. The only thing they don't erase is charcoal. So today I'm doing a comparison of a massive number of widely available erasers to see if I can find an awesome alternative to my favorite Vanish eraser. Let's go. All right, these are the rows of things I'm gonna lay down that I'm gonna test my erasers on. The first one is graphite, laying down with my favorite black wing pencil, number one. And the third, category is colored pencils. Now I haven't seen any eraser specify the type of colored pencils. Colored pencils can be wax based or oil based. So this will be interesting. The one I'm testing out is uh, a Derwent drawing pencil. Now last but not least, some of these erasers even claim to erase India ink. So I can't wait to put this to the test. This is a pit pen by Faber-Castell, and it is 100% India ink. Let's see. All right, I just swatched all four. So we have graphite, charcoal, what the heck is this one? Color pencil, <laughs> and India ink. Oh my gosh, sorry. First up is my favorite, which is the Vanish Eraser. Ah, when I just read the description for the Vanish Eraser, it said it also erases pastels. Ah, so I need to add a quick fifth category, which is soft pastels. Here we go. All right, according to Jerry Art, Jerry's Artorama website, the four in one Vanish Eraser has a unique, flexible composition that can erase anything from graphite to charcoal, color pencil to pastels. Okay, so according to this, you will no longer need gum erasers, hard rubber erasers, vinyl erasers, or even soft kneaded erasers. Now, from using these for over 10 years, I can say I agree with all of these things except charcoal. I don't think it works well on charcoal, but I'll just show you. So this is my top favorite eraser of all time and what I've been using for the past 10 years. But again, it's not very widely available. I do sell it in my illustration kit that I sell through Jerry's Artorama. There's two of them in that kit when you buy it because I love it so much. It's smooth, it is super malleable, which I love, but other than working amazingly well on most things, it also doesn't have any dust. It comes off in a larger chunk, so it's really, it's also easier to clean up after. So I'm gonna just dive on in here and just show you. <clears throat> See how it comes off in like bigger chunks? It's such a, such, such a minor thing, but I do like it and it works, whoops, pretty well. Charcoal, however, in my experience, oh, actually it's kind of working kind of well right now. <laughs> it's leaving a bit behind, it's leaving a bit behind here too. This is drawing paper that I'm working on. Um, but see how it comes off in like big chunks. So it kind of is working. Maybe I just didn't give it a chance. Come to think of it, uh, this is colored pencil. I never thought to actually even try to erase colored pencil. It does take off some, but not all. I just assume colored pencils aren't erasable. Uh, it, it takes off a little bit. This is India ink. I don't know any eraser that will erase India ink. You can see this is black coming off of here, but um, it's not really. I mean, I can, I guess I can, I can see all this black eraser is removing some things, but uh, again, to me, I'm surprised if I ever see that. Because to me, India ink is permanent anyways. And then the last but not least, this is pastel. And it is lifting pretty well. So there you go. Um, I, yeah, again, it's oh my 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 desk is gonna be a nightmare after this. So that was number one. This is my favorite. Um, again, so 
there you have it number one let's have see some of these other compare uh, I'm just randomly going in actually I'm gonna do this one next this is the Prismacolor magic rub let's see what's fascinating about this one all right according to their website it erases quickly it's designed to work wonders on graphite and rub away in India ink it's a vinyl base okay so India ink I'm gonna start there because I never would suspect that anything could get rid of India ink and if it says so I want to definitely try that out so like the vanish eraser I can see the like the bits coming off are black I just think it's lifting but uh, kind of underwhelmed I don't think it's performing any better than the vanish eraser it seems to be about the same for as much <laughs> elbow grease I'm putting on there it's kind of the same uh, this one is a little stiffer not that that really means anything okay so erasing pastel I actually think it should work a little bit better on pastel Ooh. I sort of am having a hard time getting rid of the dust it works about the same maybe a little bit better I do think the harder edges but like it's getting ground into the paper and then it's not coming off remember I was saying that was one of the things I liked about the vanish eraser was that it comes off so cleanly and this is hard to get to remove all right this is colored pencil ooh it's actually smearing the colored pencil maybe if I keep going interesting um, mm, yuck <laughs> it kind of blended it all so and it lifts about the vanish eraser but then it also kind of smears it at the same time this is weird This is charcoal. <sighs> Again, the little bits kind of like are hard to get get off of here. They kind of work their way. That's about the same. They kind of work their way into the paper. This is the same thing. Look how interesting that is. It like mooshes all the graphite first. And then you kind of dig down and then you can pick it up after that. So it works about the same on graphite. But I don't like this smeary first because then you have to work extra hard on top to kind of get rid of it. And then you have to kind of scrape. So I don't care for this one. But I think the most annoying part is trying to get rid of the eraser bits. So that it gets like kind of compounded onto the paper which I don't care for, so sorry Magic Rub, I don't like you. All right, the third eraser I'm checking out is by Pentel. It's this high polymer eraser. And from what I can see, it just is designed for erasing lead uh, without smudging or paper tears or ghosting. And it doesn't crack when it gets old. So, oh, and by the way, the Magic Rub was what you can get for like one to $2 online so way cheaper than the vanish eraser this one is you can get for about a dollar each on amazon so let's see what we think of this so this is oh this has the same smeary issue that the magic rub did where it like smears first and then clips it does lift probably it, it lifts better than the magic rub for sure and probably the same as the vanish so that's graphite that's charcoal it's kind of the same issue with the the um, magic rub with the like little eraser bits. They're not quite as like hard to lift. 
as the magic red one was. I think this would work on here. I don't believe anything would work on India ink. No, so far, just loops all around there, but not surprising. And then this is the pastel. So, so far those kind of all tie there. there. Nothing is happening there. Nothing exciting there. So, I don't know. I mean, it's a lot cheaper, so I, I can't not recommend it. The little bits aren't quite as annoying as the Magic Rub, and they're cheaper, so I would say this one is better than the Magic Rub. All right, let's go for another one. This one, number four, Creative Mark. This is uh, Art Stroke, the ultimate eraser for fine artists. Let me see what it says about this. Uh, this one is like the Vanish Eraser where it's only available, it looks like, through Jerry's Artorama. Um, and they have a, quite a number of different ones. This is the one I'm looking at right now. It looks like they have some pink and some other white ones. Um, and individually, they're under $2 here. And I'm trying to figure out what makes this one special. Let's see. Okay, apparently, minimal crumbling is its big selling feature. This feels like a regular, like, old school pencil eraser, that kind of hardness. Makes me miss my Vanish eraser. <laughs> But it does, ha it is clean, cleaner. I do agree. So that's nice. Uh, it does a good job on the charcoal. It seems to kind of lift faster than the two previous ones. I'm shocked at how any of these are lifting up any part of the color pencil. <clears throat> Again, I can't believe that Magic Rug said it could lift the India ink. This one, they all kind of are the same. And then last but not least, we have the pastels. I'm underwhelmed by everything so far. I don't think one is particularly superior over any of the other ones, to be honest. Although I do find that the two I think this one and the Vanish, which are unfortunately mostly widely, widely available at through Jerry's, are the easiest to clean. They, for some reason, their eraser technology, because they come off in these bigger chunks, are just easier to clean up. But so far, still, the Vanish is, is the easiest. All right, let's move on to number five. This is, I'm oh, gonna do this one next. This is by Faber Castell, PVC free. So. So these are all major brands that we've been messing with so far. I've spent God knows how much on all these erasers. Uh, this one has the nice big chunks, which I like. Oh, this one's doing really well. Uh, this one might work the best on charcoal so far, weirdly. Again, a nice easy cleanup. Colored pencil, about the same as the others. India ink is lifting about the same, which is just nothing. And then pastels is about the same as well. So far, this is neck and neck, and this is really much less dramatic than I was thinking oh but let me go see how much these cost these are under a dollar so these are cheap which is good because a lot of them are not all right the next one let's grab this little guy by factus this is just this one <laughs> let's see what i can do okay we have our graphite Mm, nice big chunks makes it easier to clean up. Uh, I don't like it on the charcoal. It kind of gets 
Mary. A lot of this too is like feeling. It's like a tactile situation. But again, I'm not finding it like much better or worse than any of them. This one might pick up the colored pencil the least, but again, I can't believe any of these pick up any of these. Okay, that's just not working. Yes, I am wonderwhelmed by all of these. Although this one, I mean, this is a good little decent eraser, so maybe it comes down to cost. Let's see how much this one costs. All right, so this one looks like it's a little like, oh, this one is available online. Uh, oh, it's made by Generals, but it looks, it's kind of like Vanish where it's available on Amazon, but it's more readily available in art stores and where it's a lot cheaper. So you can get it for less than a dollar at an art store. And if you have to use Amazon or something, it's like five bucks each. So that's similar. So I didn't realize um, that actually availability is, is sort of uh, a big factor for all of these. Now, Factus also comes in a black eraser. And I, so I grabbed it because I was like, what could the difference be? I don't know. So we'll find out. I like them. These are really soft and they feel really similar to the Vanish eraser. This one, the black one feels the most similar to Vanish. It's a little bit more firm, but these two, oh, they're all pretty squishy, which for some reason I, I like. So, mm, this one has the little bits that I don't care for. Yeah, this comparison, again, is largely underwhelming me. <sighs> mm, it does work better than some of these other ones, but I don't like the little eraser bits. Getting that same smear factor. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm like over the India ink. Oh. All right, once again, same, 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 same. It just, now I'm starting to wonder why the heck people are bothering creating so many different kinds when like they're all the same. So let's look at the cost of the black it looks like same thing you pay a couple dollars on amazon oh no here's one for one all right so this one might be a little more largely available and i it's equivalent to all the others it's just a little less messy which is is an upside um so yeah i mean i, I would recommend it especially because you can buy it online more easily availability is just such a big factor and that's part of the reason i'm trying to bring this video to you so we can figure out which ones we can all use uh, and get on the same page together. There's one more Factus one, uh, which again, I believe is made by Generals and it's this kind of two-toned. Um, so let's, I don't know what the difference is in the color sides. This also has a nice soft feel to it and bigger crumbles, which I like. I do, I do have to say I'm highly opinionated on this. Okay, I actually think this one has worked the best so far on the graphite. This is the first one where there's like a noticeable difference in performance. Look at that, look how much wider that is. Good Lord, we had to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to find this. It's soft. I also like the rectangular. Oh, I, you know what, I'm not, I don't know if there's a difference between the color is that just like to make it cooler or is there a difference i'll look that up after i try it hmm. actually seems like it might be moving is that my imagination or is that actually moving 
imagination, I think. <laughs> and then this is the pastel. Ooh, it's hard. I have to blow on that. So if I wipe it, then it takes it with me. So, I think this one might be the best one so far. Especially since the most frequent medium we're erasing is graphite. This one by far was the best to erase that. Let's check out if, where we can grab one of these and how much it costs. Well, unfortunately, I had the hardest find time finding this one, and I found one on Amazon, but it was like $9. So, of course, the one that I like best so far is the <laughs> least available. Of course it is. Apparently, the colored side is a little bit more textured and is good for removing colored pencils. <sighs> I feel like none of them are good at removing colored pencils, to be honest. So, that's a bummer, because it works the best on graphite. So I don't even know where you would find one, but if you can, grab it. I got mine at Jerry's Artorama, so art stores. I didn't realize how many art store kinds there were and how they're so sort of um, so like unique and unavailable other places. All right, now this is an eraser that's super intriguing. This is by Mono. Uh, my friend Bryn, who's a guest teacher for me over at Awesome Art School, uh, introduced this to me and I haven't tried it yet. It's actually for ink. It's by Tombow. Um, I love their little mini erasers. They're, they make these, which I use all the time. Um, I have a separate video on these guys. But this is like, it has like a sanded exterior and it's supposed to be for ink. But while I'm here, I'm gonna try it on other things. Ooh. Okay, I'm regretting this now. Yeah, that's yucky. <laughs> uh, let me move over to the ink. It doesn't say which ink. I think because it's sanded, I think it's basically like scraping it out of the paper. But it is actually lifting for the first time. So how, that's cool. That's very, very cool. I think you do have to work at it a little bit. But I can see it coming up. You'd have to be really careful on like watercolor paper and probably shred the paper. But it works. This is drawing paper. I mean, compared to all the other ones, you can actually see that it's lifted. The first two actually did work a little bit. Maybe I just gave up too soon on the other ones. I mean, I just had to work a bit for that sanded one. Yeah, I mean, there's no comparison because I think this actually like, it's kind of lightly scraping your paper off. Ooh, does it work on pastels? I probably would just stick your other eraser. So that's super fascinating. How much should I pay for this bad boy? I'm almost scared to look. This is the mono uh, for ink, mono sanded eraser. I forget, I definitely ordered mine on Amazon. How much did I pay? It looks like you can buy two for 10, so like five bucks each. Yeah, probably. Oof, it's painful, but I mean. Oh, and here's another one that's a sand eraser that says it's also good for removing colored pencils, which I didn't even try. So let me actually go back and do that. For the same reason, because it kind of carves into the paper. I don't think it's working any better than any of the other erasers. It looks about the same. So expensive, but that's pretty neat. And that's very unusual. On the back of this, on this other side, I'm keeping track of all the prices and availability for all of these. Right, the next one is by Spatler. Why, why are there so many erasers, you guys? This one proposes to just erase graphite. It doesn't say anything about anything else. Um, 
It doesn't feel particularly amazing in any way. Um, it's nice and soft, but it actually has quite a bit of residue. It doesn't appear to race better than anything else. It does a pretty good job on charcoal though. I'm shocked by how hard I have to actually try on each one. It does a pretty good job on colored pencil. This one lacks the sand of the other ones. Mm. It's actually kind of lifting this though. Do you see that? Although I feel like I didn't give the other ones a fair chance. I like got really pooped out. But honestly, look at this. That actually is lifting. Now, is it erasing? No. Um, but it does lift a little bit, so I gotta give it credit. And this is working nicely on the pastels, too, actually. I also like the keeping this side. It makes it easy to hold on to because of the shape and the little <sighs> hole. I'm gonna vacuum my table. This, I, got, I have to say, this has, has picked up the pastel the best out of all of them. Okay guys, so we might have a winner so far. Yeah, because it kind of does the best across all categories. Now let's look at availability and price. Mm, you can get a four pack for seven, you can get a three pack for six, you can get a 50 piece cent, for, so you can get it for, for around one to two dollars. So it's cheaper than the Vanish. It's all over Amazon, which means you can get them from every country. So they're widely available and they're a good price and they work on everything. So this might be our answer. I can't believe we've had to try so many to get one that was like, had any significant difference. So I'm putting this in a separate pile so we don't, don't forget. All right, now this is Faber-Castell Dust Free, and it says for all black lead pencils, which I didn't, haven't been testing, shoot. Ooh, it feels really squishy. I wasn't even thinking about black lead pencils, which I have. That will have to be crap, a separate test. Ooh, well it erases graphite really cleanly. That's just as good as the one before it, if not even better. And Paper Castell is a high-end brand, not high-end, a fine art brand, so I would expect good things from it. Um, the price point is one to two dollars. <sighs> it's doing a great job on everything. not doing a single thing to that but it's doing a great job on everything else now I'm curious about the black lead oh man all right well I will I will test that out separately to see at the end we can have a tiebreaker how about that test it on the black lead but this one yeah this one is good so far Ugh, I don't like it on the charcoal though all right interesting doesn't do anything to in the ink so I think so far this one is still better oh no wait the Stedler one is still the best that's still the best one so far so it doesn't quite compare because it doesn't do anything to the in the ink uh, but the but the graphite I think is equivalent maybe even a little bit better so, and it is widely available. So that's also a plus and it's not too expensive either. You can get them for about, right, again, between one and two bucks. The next one is this, Create a Color. Now this one proposes to take off, and this is the first one, charcoal and graphite. I haven't seen any that have our specific to charcoal yet. So we'll see, ooh, it's nice and soft. Ooh, act, this one feels the most similar to the Vanish Eraser. Ooh, I like the feel of this one a lot. Ooh, that's really nice, actually. I, I really prefer the soft. 
racers. It's, yeah, this one feels exactly like Vanish because it's so soft and it has the great big chunks instead of all the little yucky chunks. And yeah, for sure, it really does take off charcoal and leaves little residue. All right. That's definitely a marked improvement. I don't think it's firm enough for colored pencils, but it's definitely cleanly lifting it. Uh, better than some of these other ones. It's still not 100%. Anything on India ink? Not compared to that mono. Yeah, and again, some of these pastels. <clears throat> no one has beaten number ten yet, which was that Mars one. But it's, but it was good on the well, on the charcoal. I will give it that. And it's nice and soft, so I like it. The only problem is it's a little bit more expensive than this one, so this one would still be preferable because it's cheaper and it's more widely available, but I did like it. I do like the erasing experience, especially for graphite. And it's really hard to find an eraser that does graphite and charcoal, and it did do a good job with the charcoal, so at least they marketed it correctly. Some of them I'm like, mm, are you sure about that? <laughs> so here's another one by Prismacolor called Art Gum. Apparently, it's free from grit or grease. Well, I hope so. Safe for cleaning artworks. Can be used on all papers. Does not mar or scratch. Well, I feel like that can be said about every eraser. Except for maybe the, the sanded one. Okay, it's nice and soft. Reminds me of the last one that we used. It works uh, okay on charcoal, but not amazing. It's doing that same thing that all the ones seem to do on colored pencil, where it's kind of like smearing first and then going away, but it does work. No. I like these soft ones. They're my preference. So this one is nice and soft too. However, this one has a high price tag, which this is like five or six bucks each. And so again, considering you can get these for a lot cheaper and this one for cheaper and works better, even though I do like how soft this is, I wouldn't pay, you know, six bucks for it. All right, now here's a brand, and I actually have a couple of these and I have never realized it. It's called Marie's, and this is a, it's called a 4B eraser. Uh, and it's supposed to erase charcoal, graphite, and then it also comes in these other sizes, which I actually also have. Um, ooh, one of the nice, I love these soft ones so much. Ooh, that, uh, that's lovely. It's nice, big erase chunks. Um, does do everything so far. I'm trying to see how much they cost. Um, they're a little pricey. You can get three for 12. It's like four bucks each. But it does do a nice job on the pastel. So far, no one has beat number 10, but I do think this one it does a great job on the graphite. Yeah, that's nice, but they're pricey. So I'm not sure I would buy them again just because of how pricey they are. Oh, it looks like, no, yeah. Um, although you can get a soft, you can get a five pack for under four bucks. So actually, if you look a little bit, you can find them. Um, so maybe they're not, you just have to kind of look. Oh, here's, they have one, I was gonna say there's like a 30 piece for six bucks. Oh, but that's a different brand. Um, so it looks like you do look around, but yeah, I'm, it's, it's a nice, it's really soft. And it did a really good job on the graphite and the charcoal. So I do like it. 
you have it. And it worked really nicely on that pastel, but again, no one's beat this one yet for price, availability, and working across all five categories. So we still have a winner. For number 15, I'm just gonna try a regular gum eraser. These are available across a lot of different brands. And typically, in my experience and opinion, these are the ones that work the best on charcoal, like by far. So we haven't tested any gum erasers so far, or another word is kneaded eraser. Um, but what's nice about kneaded erasers is that when you're doing charcoal, you can, first of all, use them like forever. I really need to get the rest of this plastic off actually before I go and knead it to death. Um, but you can manipulate it, yeah, and hands, hands down it works the best with charcoal. And then when a place gets dirty, you can just do this and get a clean area and use these like for many projects, it's kind of bizarre, they're like a weird superpower. So how do they work on graphite? They work also excellently on graphite, for sure. I've never tried one on a colored pencil. What is lifting? It does work on the colored pencil. I don't think it's going to do anything to India ink. No. And it works a little bit on pastels. Not as, not quite as good as a regular vinyl eraser, but it does work. Uh, but these are cheap, they're readily available, and what's nice is they're made across a lot of different manufacturers. Um, so I always recommend having a needed one, especially when working with charcoal. All right, I have a couple more, but I'm going to actually wrap it up with just one more because I'm tired of erasing things. <laughs> And that is just to do this pink pearl. This is just like an eraser you would find at an office, um, you know, like your stationery store or Office Max or Staples or whatever. And to be honest, I have never tried it with, you know, some of these other things or compared it. Now these are really hard. So normally you just use them on uh, graphite. They don't work as well as like 14 did. Uh, and again, like eight was really good. So we've, it's sort of been beaten already. So it worked on charcoal, I've never tried. It kinda does. <sighs> A little bit. Colored pencil. So these are usually the cheapest of all of them and the most widely available. It does pick up a little bit of colored pencils, interestingly. Now because they're so hard, I'm wondering if you can lift some India ink with these. It actually does appear to be lifting. Look at that. And again, I think some of these, the ones that work are the ones that are a little bit firmer. But look at that, it's totally lifting. Go pink. Go pink pearl. This is like old school. Everybody has these on their backs of their pencils pretty much. Oh, good to know. That's a low prizing result. All right, that was pretty surprising actually. I think it actually worked the least well on the graphite and then surprised me with being able to link the India ink. All right, I do think we have a clear winner. I'm not testing anymore because I'm sick of this video. <laughs> um, I do, you should absolutely though, in the comments section, let me know what else, like if there's a eraser that you love that you want me to actually compare to this one. So I think this one is a clear winner across all categories. Um, we didn't test the black lead, although I did test the black colored pencil. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to call this video a day, <laughs> um, erasing my face off. Um, so this one I think is the winner. I still love my stupid vanish so much. It will always be my favorite. I think because I use it. Um, but now that I'm looking like, I think that, yeah, the number 10 just did such a good job. And what was number eight? A uh, number eight did the, a really good job on the graphite as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was the factest white. 
interesting. That was this one, which was the hardest to find. So yeah, if you can't get Vanish, don't be sad. I recommend now, officially, this one <laughs> that you can use across almost all mediums, dry mediums, including India ink. What a surprise that was. So yes, I'm so excited to have like an actual clear recommendation. Um, but a lot of these too, like 14, what was 14 again? Oh, that Prismacolor Art Gum. Yeah, but some of these are just really weird and hard to get a hold of. So, whew, that was exhausting. Thank you for watching. And if you want to go ahead and stop erasing and start drawing, check out this playlist here, and I'll see you in the next video.